Welcome to the Michael Crow Mycology series. In this series, we'll explore the fascinating world of fungi, mycology, kills, and mushroom cultivation. Let's dive into our first lesson, fungi are nature's recyclers, breaking down organic matter and returning essential nutrients to the soil. Fungi secrete enzymes that break down complex organic materials like dead plants, wood, and even animal remains into simpler molecules. These molecules are absorbed by the fungi and eventually released into the soil, enriching it. Without fungi, ecosystems would be overwhelmed with undecomposed organic waste. Fungi recycle carbon, nitrogen, and phosphorus, which are critical for plant growth and soil fertility. Examples of decomposer fungi include saprophytic fungi like oyster mushrooms, shiitake, and lion's mane growing on logs, and white rot fungi that decompose lignin and wood. Many fungi form symbiotic relationships with plants and animals, benefiting both parties. Mycorrhizal fungi form a mutualistic relationship with plant roots. They provide plants with increased access to water and nutrients, especially phosphorus, while plants supply the fungi with carbohydrates derived from photosynthesis. Types of mycorrhizal fungi include arbuscular mycorrhizal fungi, which penetrate root cells for nutrient exchange, and ectomycorrhizal fungi, which wrap around root cells and are common in forests. Examples of arbuscular mycorrhizal fungi include Funneliformis macee, Rhizophagus irregularis, Cleroideoglomus etunicatum, and Acolospora spp. Examples of ectomycorrhizal fungi include Boletus edulis, Amanita muscaria, Pisolithus tinctorius, Lactarius deliciosus, and Rasula spp. Over 90% of plant species depend on mycorrhizal fungi for survival. Mycorrhizae improve crop yields and sustainable agriculture. Fungi also form symbiotic relationships with animals. For example, Leaf cutter ants cultivate fungi by feeding them plant material. The fungi in turn produce food for the ants. Fungi in the stomachs of cows and sheep help digest tough plant fibers. Arbuscular mycorrhizal fungi are found in most terrestrial ecosystems including grasslands, croplands, and tropical rainforests they associate with 80% of vascular plants. Mycorrhizal fungi are found predominantly in temperate and boreal forests where they associate with fewer plant species, mainly woody trees. Uh, understanding the structure of fungi is crucial to recognizing how they grow, reproduce, and function. Let's break down the three main components, mycelium, spores, and fruiting bodies. The mycelium is the vegetative part of the fungus. It acts as the roots of the fungus, spreading through soil, wood, or other substrates to absorb nutrients. Spores are the reproductive units of fungi, akin to seeds and plants. They can be dispersed by wind, water, or animals, and are incredibly resilient. The fruiting body is the visible reproductive structure of a fungus that produces and releases spores. Commonly referred to as a mushroom, fruiting bodies come in various shapes and sizes. Fungi have unique life cycles that alternate between vegetative and reproductive phases. Here's um, a simplified overview. 
When a spore lands in a favorable environment, it germinates, growing hyphae. The mycelium spreads throughout the substrate, breaking down organic matter and absorbing nutrients. In sexual reproduction, two compatible mycelia fuse, exchanging genetic material. Environmental signals encourage the mycelium to form fruiting bodies, which grow rapidly and release spores into the environment. The cycle repeats as spores find new substrates to colonize. Activity. Create a diagram illustrating the steps of the fungal life cycle and share it in the community group for feedback. That concludes our first lesson. Stay tuned for more exciting topics in the Michael Crow Mycology series. Chào, đi nào.